Hello friends, welcome to Fun Learning. So if you want to prep up and crack competitive exams like the Olympiads, ASSET or any talent search exam, well this is the place for you. So do subscribe to our channel where we bring you last year papers and also challenging questions to help you prepare for these upcoming exams. So in this video, we are going to solve the Olympiads Maths exam paper for grade 3 and we will do it across 4 videos and in each video, we'll individually look at the questions of each section. So let's start with our class 3 paper of the IMO that is the Maths Olympiad for the year 2017. Our first section here is that of logical reasoning. Our first question reads, which figure comes next in the given figure pattern? This is the pattern here. We need to find out which figure will come in the place of the question mark. Is it option A, option B, option C or option D? Your time starts now. Well, let's look at this together. So, we should identify the pattern for the image 1, 2 and 3 in the given block. Let's look at the first image which is a horizontal line supported with a sphere at the right end. So, the sphere is on the right end in the first image, second image and in third image. But in fourth image, it faces the left end, left end again and hence in the last image also it will face the left end. So if we look at the options, we can eliminate C and D because here the sphere is on the right end which is not as per our assumption of the pattern. Let's look at the second one which has the T on the left side, T on the left side even in the second image. Then on the next image it goes to the right side, right side again and again switches to left side so the final image will have the T on the left end. So, if we look at our options from A and B, it is A that matches our final answers that we are getting and hence we can eliminate B and assume that our right answer is option A. Next question. There is a certain relationship between the pair of figures on the either side of the four dots. Identify the relation and find the missing figure. So, here we have a cricket ball is to a cricket pitch. So a shuttlecock is to what? Is your answer option A, option B, option C or option D? Your time starts now. Well, here the object and the area of its play is given. So a badminton shuttlecock is played in a badminton court. That is why your right answer is option B which shows the badminton court. Let's go to our next question. If Mohit takes a leave on all odd number of days in July, then how many days did he work? Assume that every Sunday is a holiday. This is the calendar given here. Choose your right answer from option A 12, option B 13, Option C 14 or Option D 15. Your time starts now. Well, let's solve this together. So first, we'll just cancel out all the odd number of days in the given calendar. Odd numbers are numbers ending in 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and any other number ending in these numbers. So, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, 27, 29 and 31 are all odd numbers. And out of which we cancel out the Sundays where he does not work. And what we need to find is the number of days he did work. So these are the days where he took leave. So the number of days that he worked are the remaining days which are not cancelled out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. So it is option B 13 which gives the number of days he did work. Next question. 
find the word that cannot be formed from the letters of the given word smartphone is it option a part option b nose option c turn or option d sound your time starts now Well, a way to solve it is that you take the word and then cancel out the letters if they appear in the word smartphone. And you, if you take a quick glance, you'll notice that the word U does not appear in the word smartphone. Hence, you can safely choose option C to be the right answer because U is not a part of the word in smartphone. Next question. If dog and table are removed from the given arrangement then dash is third to the left of book this is the given arrangement based on the instructions choose your right answer is it option a chair option b clock option c pen or option d lamp your time starts now Well, let's solve this together. So first, let's cancel out dog and table that they have mentioned. Now, let's find where is the book. Here it is. And let's see which is its left direction. That is this side. It's indicated. Now, let's count the third position from the book. So one, two and three. So your right answer is a chair, which is the third to the book given the arrangement that is mentioned. Next question, if four oranges is heavier than this upward arrow and two pairs is lighter than the upward arrow, then which of the following is neither lightest nor heaviest? Is it option A, the four oranges, B, the two pairs, C, the upward arrow or D, can't be determined? The time starts now. Well, let's look at this together. Now, clearly the way I read the question should give you an indication and that's how you should read it too. Now, this upward arrow is not the heavier in image 1 and here the upward arrow is not the lightest in image 2. So, we can assume that option C, the upward arrow is neither lightest nor heaviest. Let's head to the next question. Find the mirror image of the given figure if the mirror is placed along PQ, this is the given image here. You need to choose your right answer from option A, B, C or D. Time starts now. Well, let's look at this together. Now the given image is here and the mirror is vertical that means you need to find the horizontal reflection and in the horizontal reflection the last image will come first so your first image or the first picture in your reflection would be the red star and if you look at the options B and D can be eliminated let's continue to find the horizontal reflection so 6 will opposite as an opposite reflection here and F will opposite as an opposite horizontal reflection like this. And if you look at the image, it is option A which matches our answer that we are guessing. But C is actually a vertical reflection of 6 and of F. That is why we can choose A to be our right answer. Next question. How many fewer circles are there in the given figure than the triangles? This is the image here. Choose the right answer. Is it option A 0, option B 1, option C 2 or option B none of these? Your time starts now. Well, for this question, we need to find the number of triangles and then the number of circles. And to find the fewer circles than triangles, we need to subtract the number of circles from the number of triangles and find the answer. So, let's get started. Let's see how many triangles are there. So, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are 8 triangles and how many circles? 
well here outer circle inner circle outer circle inner circle outer here inner here outer here and inner here making it eight circles now let's do triangles minus circles well that give us zero as the answer because they are same number of triangles and circles so our answer is option a that is there are zero fewer circles than triangles they are equal next question which square must be shaded so that the figure has a line of symmetry line of symmetry means if you draw a line across the figure it should be equal on both sides so this is the image here is the right answer option a p option b q option c r or option d s time starts now well if you look at the image for this to have a line of symmetry that is equal image on both the sides across a line drawn vertically horizontally or diagonally we should select or shade p clearly the four sides should be shaded to get a line of symmetry so that the image is equal on both sides across the line hence our right answer is option a p Next question. Select the figure from the options which exactly is embedded in the given figure X. This is the figure X. Find out the right answer. Is it option A, option B, option C or option D? Time starts now. Let's look at this together. Now if you look at all the images you'll get an idea and you'll see that option B if we try to match it like this 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 and this we can see that this image exactly embeds with that of option B so your right answer is option B and you'll notice you'll not be able to find the same for the other options so with that we come to the end of our logical reasoning Hope you saw the long and were able to get the concepts as well as the tricks. So to so keep, to keep this, going, this going, click on the next video link to solve the other section of this paper. So till we see you again, take care.